that I'm going to talk about the importance of imprinted gene expression, dosage in brain function, and in particular focusing on neurodevelopmental disease. So first of all, what are imprinted genes? Imprinted genes are epigenetically modified so that expression from these genes is only from one parental allele. So although we inherit copies of imprinted genes from both our mum and dad, they are modified by DNA methylation and histone modifications such that expression for some genes is only from maternal copy, so genes like NESP and CDK and one c and for other genes uh, the expression is only from the paternal copy, so genes like Nectin and PEG3. And this is independent of the sex of the individual, it's purely down to the parent of origin of those genes. So imprinted genes are important in a lot of functions, a lot of physiological functions such as in utero growth, placental function, and I'm interested in imprinted genes' role in the adult brain. And in particular, I want to focus on a syndrome called Prader-Willi syndrome, which is caused by loss of paternally expressed genes from the region on chromosome 15, Q11 to Q13. Prader-Willi syndrome is a neurodevelopmental disorder, and it's caused by both genetic mutations and epigenetic mutations that affect this imprinted gene cluster on chromosome 15. The main diagnostic characteristics are the genetic mutation itself, and also when born, the individuals suffer from infantile hypotonia and a failure to suckle. And they also have numerous endocrine problems, and what Prader-Willi syndrome is probably most notable for is the fact that the individuals develop hyperphagia from the ages of about two to six onwards. But in addition to these main diagnostic criteria, there are a number of behavioral and psychiatric problems, including obsessive compulsive disorder, and what I'm going to talk about today, negative effect and psychotic illness. So psychotic illness, being psychotic episodes and negative effect being mood disorders and disturbances. And what's important is that these um, psychiatric problems are more prevalent in certain prader willi genotypes. So here is the prader willi interval and you can see paternally expressed genes with blue arrows, two maternally expressed genes with red arrows. And in the vast majority of cases of prader willi syndrome, about 70%, the disease is caused by a deletion between breakpoints 1, BP1, and BP2, and BP3. And this gets rid of the genetic material when paternally inherited results in Prader-Willi syndrome. But in addition to deletion, there are also other genotypes, such as maternal uniparental disomy. So this is a duplication of two copies of maternal chromosome 15, so no paternal copy. And also a deletion of the parental imprinting centre, so the control element coordinates the epigenetic regulation of the interval, which also results in loss of paternal gene expression. But these two genotypes, maternal uniparental disomy and paternal imprinting centre deletion, also have the other factor, which is increased maternal dosage. So the genes that are normally maternally expressed, UB3A and ATP10A, are overexpressed in these two genotypes. And it's also these two genotypes that have the increased prevalence of psychosis, so psychotic episodes occur in a 56 to 62% of these individuals, whereas in the paternal deletion genotype they occur between 0 and 12%. So we've seen that psychosis is increased by maternal duplication in Prader-Willi syndrome, but we also wanted to look in the general population more widely, so independent of Prader-Willi syndrome. And it's now known that CNVs, copy number variants, can give rise to schizophrenia and other psychotic illnesses. And one particular CMV seems to be centred on the chromosome 15 imprinted region. And work that we've been doing in Cardiff has demonstrated that maternal duplication at this chromosome 15 is far more likely to result in psychotic illness generally. And so there's a significant overrepresentation of maternally derived duplications that lead to psychotic illness in the general population, independent of Prader Willi syndrome. So it seems that maternal gene expression in this interval is important for mediating brain development and leading to neurodevelopmental disorders such as Prader-Willi syndrome, but is also important in terms of psychiatric disease and greater risk of psychotic illness generally.